yep, we're not front heavy anymore. Uh, remember this video with the heat shield? That's right, horrific. Anyways, someone else had another perfect idea. Use them as landing gear. You know, they do kind of, mm, you know, compress their bodies. Um, not going too far into, you know, the details. But uh, maybe, maybe it works. Maybe we can save a craft using kerbals in case our landing gear suddenly fails. Who knows, you know, might happen during the video. Who knows? We'll find out. Anyways, let's test it out. Got myself a real beautiful aircraft. Top engine mounted. That's, uh, you know, that's uh, something I came up with. I thought it would be nice to put the engine there instead of, you know, at the rear, which was quite common. And it's, it's, it's a bit unstable. But maybe, maybe we can take off. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, I'm. See, we're getting some air. Getting some air. A few kerbals might have exploded just now. So we lost the gear. All right. Well, <clears throat> this time I tried to build up the engine air. Uh, oh shit! What the fuck? Right. So this one, I've got a good feeling about this one. I put on some RCS to kind of get it to control better, and it's front heavy shit. All right. So I can confirm. Some survived during this attempt. Uh, I can't remember if they all did, but we'll see right now. Anyways, we're about to take off. Yep, we're not front heavy anymore. Um, yeah, anyways, I mean, they survived. They they didn't do their intended function, um, but whatever. Um, yeah, looks nice, done it. All right, I scrapped the whole, you know, top mountain engine idea because it's definitely not working out. Put on some different wings, you know, and uh, yeah, different air intake. Looks absolutely fucking ugly, but we don't we don't mind that for now. We can we can work with that. Anyways, we just took off. It's flying quite stable. Um, to the guy who commented that uh, I'm not building what's what's it called? Oh yeah, so that's a thing we have to solve later. We just lost someone. Anyways. Uh, to the guy who commented about uh, me not building, <laughs> there's the guy, me not building, um, what's it called, shit, gliders, so that the, um, the mess and the lift doesn't have to be, uh, you know, completely centered. Um, yeah, I didn't listen to you, because, because uh, that's what I did here, and it's working perfectly fine. Uh, I'm not losing control right now, just ignore that. The engine is definitely not losing RPM. So you might be wondering why am I using this engine and not one with an afterburner that's actually powerful at, you know, low RPMs. Well, to that I say it's just a good looking engine and you know, it's it, during some other tests uh, for another video I was using this one and found out that it's, it's quite a useful engine. Um, so we're coming in for a landing by the way. So yeah, it's a quite, a, quite a good engine because it's... Um, fuel efficient and it has quite a lot of thrust and yeah we're coming in for a landing now spooling down the engine air brakes on and yeah I mean the aircraft survived the wings blew off but uh, but it seemed to have worked I call this a well not a success but we're almost there we're almost there all right same plane just a small change because I want to test something else later in the video. Uh, that's with the parachute. See if uh, the engine stalls or brakes or whatever. Don't mind the maneuvers, by the way. I'm an absolute terrible pilot. Anyways, yeah, the parachutes. Um, yeah, I want to test something else. That if the engine crashes, we can just parachute down and that the kerbals, um, you know absorb the impact of the ground so that the airframe is intact and maybe even survive who knows I mean they, they've got some strong as helmets so yeah this is quite a good well good decent approach I tried the cockpit view but I absolutely spaced out um, I can't control this thing for for yeah I just can't control it so we're coming in for a final approach um, yeah <laughs> I forgot to throttle down. Uh, so I have to activate the air brakes right now. Right there I go, and then I throttle down. Because I definitely didn't forget that. And see, see how perfect it works. We're absolutely, oh shit. Yeah, so you might be wondering, you know, what do these Kerbals think about these tests? And look at that smile. I mean, you, they do it because they love it. Not because I forced them to. They love it. So yeah, we just dropped off the uh, landing gear. You might be wondering how I dropped them off like last time. Well, I've put some rocket boosters on. It's even more dangerous this time. 
but it's working so I'm not gonna bother changing it uh, and yeah we're gonna gonna turn around the thing with this airplane is <laughs> when I start turning it loses so much thrust because the, the air intake is not getting enough air um, you know it's not doing its function properly maybe put a uh, fan in front of it anyways moving on I'm starting to ramble off here yeah I'm trying to maneuver this thing um, kind of into a good direction and we woo, we almost hit it uh, with um, uh, too much speed but whatever yeah so I didn't forget to turn off the engine now and yeah we just touched down the Kerbal sacrifice they didn't sacrifice themselves they um you know they they uh, anyway oh shit right so this is the final test I just dropped off the landing gear I'm turning around I immediately uh, screw something up but you'll see what I uh, what I uh, screwed up because I wanted to break this airplane and I thought well maybe use reverse thrust but then I forgot that thing's gonna <laughs> gonna try to lift up the aircraft and then it completely stalls because the air intake isn't taking in the air then I deploy the parachute's way too late the thing crashes down the engine blows up but look at this look at this they survived they all survived this might be I'm not sure actually but this might be the first experiment where all Kerbals survived we're gonna have to do something about that because we can't have that but you see that later